I truly believe that sometimes in life you have to be a hater. Something about being a hater helps you narrow down what you actually like about fashion and what you don't like. So it kind of helps you fine tune your personal style, if you will. So in this video, I'm going to be a hater and tell you my fashion things that I do not like. The first thing on my list that I really, really dislike, and I will never understand why brands do this, is when something is beaded on the front, but not on the back. It can be with Diamante jeans, but dazzled on the front half of the jeans, and then the back of the jeans is just plain with bags. Like when you have fully decorated, in your face, beaded bags. Imagine this bag, fully beaded, and then the back was just a plain satin. It just makes no sense to me. And I feel like it just looks cheap. It looks like the brand just didn't complete the job they started. And for whatever reason, I feel like it shouldn't cost you that much to actually do the same to the back of it as you did to the front. It's not as deep with jeans. Actually, no, it is as deep with jeans. However, that whole thing, I just don't get it and I don't like it. I think it looks cheap. It looks unfinished and it just looks lazy. So finish the back, essentially. I don't know if it's, if it's just me, but that is something that I do tend to notice a lot. And it's something that if I see a bag that I think is absolutely beautiful and then I see the back is plain, it just puts me off. Like I'd rather not buy the bag than have something that looks unfinished. For some bags, it does work. For example, I showed you this bag in one of my videos. It's beaded on the front but not on the back. And I think because the pattern is carried on through to the back, it kind of works and it's not as jarring. But if the pattern wasn't carried on to the back, then I think it would be, I wouldn't have bought it. I think it would be definitely more annoying to look at. And yeah, it just looks incomplete in my head. So I really dislike that whole vibe. And I notice a lot of brands tend to do it, especially obviously fast fashion, but I do see it in higher end brands as well with clothing and jeans in particular. As the video goes on, I definitely wanna see your opinions in the comments. So feel free to sound off as the video goes on. However, next on my list is kind of similar to the first thing in that it just looks cheap. Why is it that when brands make denim accessories or shoes, they use this almost perfect looking denim that just looks so cheap. Cause I love denim and I want denim accessories. I want denim bags. I want denim shoes, but most more times it's always in this very smooth fake denim looking material. I really do think if it wasn't a material that's similar to a denim jean, a denim jacket, it would look so much more elevated. And it's not just lower end brands that do it, it's, it's higher end brands as well. And I just think it just doesn't look good because for me, if I get a denim pair of shoes, I want to wear it with denim jeans as well. But if it's in that very smooth, perfect looking thin denim, then when you wear it with denim jeans, it just looks off because you can tell it's not an actual denim. So they don't really look nice together. They don't really gel nicely together. It just looks weird. I do have obviously denim, a denim bag that you would have seen in my last video. And I do have a pair of denim boots. And I think the fact that these two items have texture and a bit of like, yeah, basically a texture added to it, it makes it look more denim-esque and it means it goes nicely with denim materials. I actually have a recently ordered a pair of denim loafers. And when I say I am so excited to receive this pair of shoes, this is me, like the embodiment of my entire personality in a pair of shoes. I love denim, check. I love loafers, check. I love a heeled shoe, check. Oh, I'm so excited to receive these shoes and I hope they live up to my expectations because sometimes when you order something, you're so excited about it and then when you receive it, it almost lets you down. I don't know if it's just me, but that normally happens to me because the idea is always better than the actuality of receiving that item. But these, I think they are absolute perfection. They look like real denim and they are a denim accessory. So I can't wait to pair them with a pair of jeans. However, brands, I just wish they would add even just a little bit of texture, a bit of 
wear to the denim that they use for their bags and their shoes because then it would go so much nicer with denim outfits this next thing is more of personal preference and that is the fact that i don't like when the hand on the on watches moves i know it doesn't make sense because a watch is supposed to tell tell time but i personally like my watches purely for aesthetic purposes i like it to look nice on my wrist and that is it i have my phone to tell time i don't want my watch to tell time too unless it's like specifically for that reason if i'm i don't know playing badminton or something that is the only time i might wear a watch that tells time i only buy pretty watches because i mean look how pretty this is and I like when my watches have this kind of strap to it or just a really kind of pretty detail to it. So I purely buy watches as bracelets that just happen to have a clock face on them. I know it doesn't make logical sense. Whoops, hold on. I'm very much aware that it doesn't make logical sense, but I don't know. Watches are an extension of my outfits in the same way that bracelets, necklaces, earrings, and essentially any type of jewelry are i just like them for aesthetics i don't want to tell the time i know that last one is definitely a me thing and most people probably wouldn't agree but it's something that i've definitely noticed whenever i have a watch that the battery is in it and the clock is ticking it just annoys me so i prefer my watches to not have their batteries in them or not have their batteries working next on the list is platform shoes and I understand as someone who's probably, I think I'm about average height. I understand the desire to want to be taller. I definitely do because I love my shoes to be healed or have some kind of height to them. But there's something about an extremely platform shoe that just looks so bad to me. I'm all here for a chunky sole. I have chunky shoes of all sorts. I'm definitely here for like a platform, those kind of things. But when it's a very chunky almost like their platform arg and then platform like loafers as well i will put examples on the screen so you know exactly what i'm talking about i just think it looks almost cartoonish and it just looks like too much i think at that point if you want a heel height that much go for a platform heel go for a heeled shoe or boot wherever it may be but something about that really thick bit of sole on a shoe just looks weird to me and I just think it ruins the overall look of an outfit. I kind of spoke about this in, an, in a previous video with Uggs. I can't remember, but yeah, something about that platform I really don't like. And as someone who obviously is not that tall, I do understand the desire to want to appear taller in your clothing. So I'd rather just do it in a way of a heel, a platform shoe, and not like a more of a flat form. I think flat forms is what I have the issue with as opposed to platforms and it's just when it's an extremely exaggerated platform that i don't like i think it just looks cartoonish and it just throws the entire proportions of an outfit off just me if you wear any of these things that i'm essentially hating on don't feel like you have to take my opinions on board these are literally just my opinions if you agree then let me know if you don't agree then let me know, know also i just think it's nice to just essentially know what you like and what you dislike. And I think that kind of helps you, yeah, in your fashion journey, essentially. So don't be offended. Take everything I say with a pinch of salt. If you like it, carry on wearing it. If you don't like it, then I guess we both agree on that. Next on my list is jackets with hoods. This one is because of practical reasons. Most of the time, I actually have my hair down or I have long braids or braids of any sort. And when you have your hair down and you have a hood, it's just the most annoying feeling because it almost makes like it pushes your hair forward. It just makes everything sit awkwardly. If you have a hood, then you should essentially wear your hair up. But I do tend to like to wear my hair down or half up and half down. So having a hood is just impractical for that reason. Nothing to do with the way it looks. Although most jackets I achieve think look better without a hood. I literally own only one jacket with a hood. And even that I think would just be much better without a hood. But I really like the jacket so it gets a pass. Either way, it's more for practical reasons than aesthetics. But overall I do prefer a hoodless jacket. I think it looks better. 
it's more flattering with longer hair with any hair that you wear down basically so jackets with no hoods are a yay for me jackets with hoods are a no for me personally and i know that probably sounds very strange as someone who lives in london and it rains here all the time but i rather just carry an umbrella and if the wind takes it the wind takes it i don't want a hood on my head even if it was raining lastly on my list is ankle boots and these are not ankle boots in the traditional sense of an ankle boot they're the boots that sit just above your ankle bone so imagine boots that are slightly higher than this but not as high as an, a traditional ankle boot i don't know why we have that type of silhouette of shoe but i think it sits so awkwardly on the leg it cuts you off in an awkward place and i think it just makes you look overall awkward i don't know like it doesn't allow for leg extension but then it also doesn't cut you off to make you look particularly shorter it just looks weird in the placement of it of course these kind of shoes there's no issue when you have full length trousers that cover them but when you're wearing trousers that or a skirt with it i think it just looks really weird because you can't really place it as an ankle boot and you can't place it as whatever this type of shoe is called maybe a mule i'm not sure but I always find those shoes to be really unflattering and just awkward in the way that they sit on the leg so i tend to avoid those types of shoes but i don't know if this is just a personal thing or something that i just noticed because i'm very particular with where things sit on me and how my clothing and my shoes fit me as well so maybe it's just because i'm particular and most people might not notice it but either way i want to know what you guys' pet peeves are or your fashion hates are in the comment section below i just find it important to know what you don't like and what you do like it's just a nice conversation and i hope you didn't find this video to be too negative i just wanted to share some of the things that i dislike within fashion if you did enjoy this video then i definitely think you will enjoy the video where i spoke about the trends we're leaving in 2024 so if you haven't already watched that then you definitely should and as usual don't forget to like this video to comment down below your pet peeves and to subscribe for more videos from me if you haven't already and i'll be seeing you in my next video goodbye and god bless